Hi everyone. Now you might be wondering, especially if you use watercolour, how to use masking fluid. This is Terry Harrison's masking fluid. It's called the Blue Stuff and it's tinted blue so you can see it. A lot of masking fluid on the market is like a creamy white colour and it's quite often difficult to um, see on the paper. So this is a really good idea buying the blue stuff. Must be careful with your masking fluid. Don't shake it if it separates, because it does separate. Um, just slowly rotate the masking fluid until it mixes back together again. Sometimes it gets stuck inside because it is a glue and you get this sort of gloopy stuff at the top. And that sometimes stops you from it being able to get the lid off. Um, but just know that it's that and you know the more pressure you apply the easier it will come off so it's a liquid form you can see that there you need to replace the lid as soon as you finish using it don't leave it exposed because if it's ex it becomes exposed it starts to go hard masking fluid is used for um, blocking out white areas on um, watercolour paper so if you've got a white cottage and you're trying to paint a sky behind it rather than painting around it you can paint this on let it dry and then apply your sky over the top of it and it resists so it acts a bit like wax and it resists the paint so once your watercolour is dried you just rub this off and it reveals the white surface which is underneath okay it says here always test paper surface before use um, it's a good idea some papers do not like this masking fluid apply to a dry surface allow to dry before any paint is applied remove immediately after use and protect your brush coat uh, to brushes coat them with soap before use okay so there's a few little instructions. There's loads of information online and obviously you've got this video, so hopefully this will help. Okay, so things to apply masking fluid with. Do not, whatever you do, use your brushes. This is like glue. So as soon as you put it on, it'll start adhering to all the hairs and that's the end of your brush. Don't use your brushes. You can buy special masking fluid brushes which have nylon hairs which means that you can peel off and wash off the masking fluid easily as it says on there you can apply a um, coat of um, washing up liquid or soap to your brushes before you use the masking fluid but i don't even recommend that you know because if you miss a hair or if you don't put enough um, soap on, you're still going to have the same issue. Plus the fact it goes down into, into the ferrule here. So don't do that. Um, buy a masking fluid brush or use something else. These are what I use. So I've got a colour shaper here. This is used for blending pastels and charcoal. And it's got a rubber end on it. And this is what happens when you use it for masking fluid. It goes off in the same way that it does on your paper. And then you just rub it off. So this is the perfect tool, one of the perfect tools for applying your masking fluid that is not a brush. Okay, so it just pulls off. I also use cotton buds. You can either use the thick end here uh, for applying large areas or you can sharpen the other end and use it almost like a little brush point. Sharpen it with a knife. Um, you can use bits of metal I've got a cocktail, um, a, a kebab stick here, and that's really good. And you can get a really fine point with that, shaving it down with a knife. So just have a play and apply the masking fluid with different tools and see which one suits you the best. You can buy these special pens as well that apply the masking fluid. But I've I've not got one. I don't I don't use it. You can see that leaves a lovely fine line really fine yeah the cotton bud is good for doing little suns or if you want to leave um, little dots for flowers that sort of thing this is the kebab stick again leaves a nice fine line 
um, obviously the, the more you sharpen it or the less you sharpen it the more the thicker the line will be and this is the blending tool here oops there so you know have a play with different tools and see what happens okay make sure you put your lid back on straight away and if you have got um, the white masking fluid you can add cerulean blue into um, a, just a small dot of, of cerulean blue that's that's watercolor into your masking fluid and it will go this color don't use any other blue all the other blues stain and will leave a mark so if you're unsure just tip out a little bit of masking fluid into another pot add a bit of cerulean blue into it mix it up try it out and then see how you go all right most people can actually see the the creamy coloured one uh, but like I said if you have difficulty seeing it then try that so all you need to do is let that go off dry it off ideally naturally um, any kind of heat affects it um, if you leave it on for too long it affects it uh, how how it releases so this will dry off solid and then once you finish painting you just literally just rub very gently inwards rather than outwards if you rub outwards then it's potentially will drag the paper with it so if you run rub in words like that yeah then that will hopefully come off nicely for you okay leaving the white paper behind or if you've applied a color already that's dried off you can use the masking uh, fluid on top let it dry off um, paint a colour on top of that and then when you rub this off it will really re reveal the colour underneath. Okay, any questions just ask, I'll try and answer them. Um, I know people have had problems with masking fluid coming off. There's very, many, many, pro many reasons for this. One is the paper's not that good, it might be cheap paper. Two is that it hasn't been um, mixed back up inside the bottle. Three is it could be really old and out of date. And four is that you might have left it on for too long. And another reason uh, is that if you've used a hairdryer to heat it up, sometimes it bonds a little bit more than it should do. Okay, hope that's helped. And like I said, have a go, use it, see how you get on. If you have any trouble, just um, let me know and I'll try and help you out. Okay, bye for now.